Hello, my name is Ryan Bain from WebTech Global and I'm working on the CSV to Post plugin which was released in 2009. It was my first project. I was technically still at university. It was, well, I, sorry, it was my first WordPress project. I was still learning PHP. I was still learning development and I, and I was only just starting to learn WordPress. So this plugin did begin with a, a rough history. I begun selling the premium edition which was in competition with teams of developers. There are premium plugins, premium importers created by teams and they're in competition with me. Um, and I've had all sort of, sorts of dirty tactics, let's say, and within that sort of competition, unethical behavior and unethical moves against my brand and, and what I'm trying to do. All of it teaching me, all of it making me stronger and all of it driving me on. And one of the things that I've done is continue to improve CSV to post, continue to update it, and that's what I'm doing right now. I redeveloped it and now we're on version 8. And version 8 is focusing on WordPress standards. They're finally ready to you know, really take on WordPress standards through both code and make use of the WordPress core, and not just for functionality, but the interface as well. So I I was almost there and I realised that there was one thing I was missing, one thing that would really improve my plugin and that one thing was realised when I downloaded and installed the table press. I was really impressed that I was really impressed that the, the code, the the standards are, are beautiful. Uh, I don't know if the developer has worked on the core, the WordPress core itself, but they could. Um, and what I really liked about this plugin, obviously I've seen post boxes before, but I, initially I thought this plugin does something that I would love my plugin to do and want it to do, but can't make it happen. And that's what this video is about. And I'll I'll use this plugin to explain. Well, basically, when we click on the, the table press menu, the tabs, we go through the tabs, so they're shared. Um, and that's because when we build the when we build the plugin, when we register the pages, the they always show in the plugin menu. As far as I'm aware, unless I'm missing something, and that's my problem. I, I don't want them to show. What I want to be able to do is, for example, click on uh, all tables, have a, a menu like what we do up here. I want to be able to click on add new, but it doesn't change in the menu over here on on the left. I want it to stay at all tables. So right now, so far, that seems impossible. And I'll explain why in a moment. Well, I wouldn't say impossible, but I can't see any, any solution that isn't very dirty and, and could cause you know some problems later. And that's what I want to get away from. Um, so basically, CSV to post, if I just, I'll go down to CSV to post and uh, I have debugging on, so that's why the menu's hidden. All right, so here we are in CSV to post. It doesn't look like much because I've, I've removed a lot of screens. This transition from my old approach to the new has, has meant I have, to, I have to remove the screens. But CSV to post has, usually has around seven tabs along here, just for the, the, the main page. There's an about, an about screen, there's general management tabs. And then on the, the menu on the left, the plugin menu, there's usually five items and they're numbered. And they begin with data import and, and they go through categories, meta, post creation and so on. So each of those pages also has a menu. For example, the there's a design page on the left for, uh, and the design page includes a screen for general settings, it includes a screen for a WYSIWYG editor and creating templates and so on. I went with that approach because CSV to post is going to expand. I've, I've finally learned everything I need to know. My development is very quick. My development standards are high. I'm coding as close to, to WordPress code as I can. And so the speed means that I'll, I'll achieve what I want. And that is a very extensive plug CSV importer. It offers endless tools. And that means a lot of screen space is going to be used. I need a lot of views. I, I have a sandbox approach. And that means, and I do need the tab menu. So, so I have five menus, menu items on the on the, the plugin menu. Each one of those 
will have possibly up to 10 tabs and each tab I'll just show you each tab would would be pretty much as I showed you in the, the table press and what I'm showing you here each tab would be a registered page now initially they, they weren't registered pages initially I had a registered page for example test one and about the tab menu and imported well sorry included the content using the work the PHP include function um, there was no register of the view and the problem with that is you cannot use post boxes in that situation because the Ajax function that saves a post box interaction uh, or action is relying on the this page value here and there's no parameter as far as I can I can find that allows us to change that so therefore I couldn't tell WordPress that each tab is a separate view and to save settings user settings for each view and what was basically happening is each of my tabs was sharing the post box position so for example if I, if I move this post box over to the, the sidebar and then went to testers the and a post box would have moved from the sidebar over to this side so it's like a switch um, and that was that same with the screen options we have screen options in play and csv to post now so that's all new and there are advantages already we can close the post boxes the whole sandbox thing that I spoke you know I mentioned will will make that you know this functionality will will make that a lot easier because we'll have a long list of post boxes and a lot going on some people may want to shorten this list on the left by just sort of you know getting rid of some of these post boxes and putting them over into that that column uh, I'll eventually make a three column layout and so on uh, but the problem that we're having is the problem I'm have, are having, and I'm hitting a brick wall really, is the fact that the the, the pages are always show in the menu on the left. So in this situation, and what I'm looking for, and the reason why I've made this video, seeking help, uh, whether it's to to find a solution quickly or to improve the core to allow what I want to happen, I basically want test one to be gone. I want to hide that. There's a, a WordPress hide page or remove page function and initially I read that it says this would not prevent users from accessing screens directly so I thought brilliant that's what this function is designed for however it does prevent me accessing the page so the chances are the the capabilities update that happened round about 3.5 I think um, since you know obviously after this function was added that probably added you know a lot more security but I get the feeling this really was intended this function here really was intended to allow a menu page to be removed uh, and just not displayed, not removed security wise and prevent access so whether or not somebody's lost track of that whether or not you know this is just an automated sort of response by WordPress when it tells me I'm not authorized to use sorry to access page uh, I'm not sure I will look into the I'll, I'll look into the code I'll look I'll, I'll maybe visit track request change and so on but yeah that's where I am um, so what I'm asking is does anybody know a solution is it a plugin that does what I'm trying to do uh, just in case I've not explained it clearly I'll mention again what I'm trying to do is have my usual five menu items here my, on my plugin each of those pages would have a a tabbed menu and when I click on the, the, the actual items I don't want I don't ever want those items to show in this menu and I don't obviously want them to switch over I just want them to stay on that the, the one page hope that makes sense and that's that all right, so I'm about to post this on. Obviously, I'll, I'll publish it on YouTube, and then I plan to put it on maybe WordPress Answers and, and maybe Stack Overflow. I'm not sure. Stack Overflow obviously is strict. You need to make a good question, and you need to you know maintain the the question, and therefore I made a video to to show effort and explain in detail what I'm trying to do. 
and I'll hopefully show off the plugin a little. I know there's not a lot there because I've hidden all the menu items for the sake of development, but um, at least you see what I'm trying to do. Uh, it's a shame because another another feature I have in, in this is the I'm using the help. I've got a help system. Um, I have a help the, the help tabs gone for this testing I'm doing right now, but there's a help system, and it makes use of the WordPress help menu. The there is an array an array of help text. I'll just show you. Um, I'm just showing you out of interest. I mean, I've basically covered the, the you know the question. So basically, this is my array of of support content. And this is generated by a tool on my website. So basically, I type the 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 actual help content into my site. I I blog it and so on, um, and then. I use a tool that I've developed to generate this array, save it in the plugin, and the help content instantly shows on this screen. All right. Now I'm only I'm not. Well, I suppose I'm showing sure off, but because I I strongly feel there isn't enough help in WordPress. It's not the WordPress core that's at fault. It's the amount of plugin developers that create plugins quickly and then sort of go on to provide support in the forums. Uh, and, and even then they're not really building up an FAQ as they go and things like that whereas I'm trying to add that efficiency in and, and I, I, I'm at a stage where I suppose I need a lot more support a lot more feedback and maybe more contacts because I can't have these I can't be hitting these brick walls and, and you know stopping because right now that's what happens I'm stopping um, for too long it's taken hours sometimes even days to really get past you know, one of these issues. So obviously that's normal in development to a certain extent, but uh, there are some times where if I had contacts and, you know, more people on, on Skype and so on, that, you know, I would get th past things quicker. So that's what this video is about. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get me out there more. Um, I'm expressing what this plugin is, is, is about, what it can be. And not just that, I plan to make a lot of plugins using this approach. So this whole interface, the help, the help system I'm talking about, uh, that will all be duplicated in, in many plugins. All right. So anybody that can help me, anybody that can help me move on, you go, you are going to be adding to to that sort of progress. Okay. Thank you very much for watching, and thank you for any help that you can you can bring. Um, what I should maybe do is mention the Web Tech Global Forum. Could be a good place if you if you do want to strike up a discussion, paste some code. Um, but as I said, it will be the video will be on YouTube as well. Um, if you're interested in providing help for things like this, please subscribe. What I might do is make a, a specific channel on there. So look for a channel on on or a or, a, or even just a playlist for for these specific sort of questions from me to to the public and uh, you know uh, the WordPress community. All right, thank you very much.